주체의 사회주의를 우리 어떻게 정대로 지키는가를 세계 여보라 조선은 결심하면 한다 조선은 한다면 한다 승리의 영도 따라서 전군의 붉은 기그 신념으로 조선은 결심하면 한다 조선은 한다면 한다 US Embassy We're here today picketing the US Embassy Because a few days ago On Tuesday 25th of June It was the 74th anniversary of the provocation of the Korean War, which is known as the Fatherland Liberation War in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. This was not a war between Koreans, but between a small country, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, which had been founded only two years before, and the American Empire, the Empire of Evil. It was indeed a war against Korea, against the Korean people. The U.S. imperialists, the ringleader of world imperialism and international reactionaries, provoked a war in Korea on the 25th of June 1950 by instigating their South Korean puppets to attack the young Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The U.S. imperialists were hungry for profits and conquest. The U.S. imperialists fought an unjust, aggressive war against the Korean people. They launched a war of conquest, a war to destroy the Juche-based People's Democratic System in the DPRK, as well as to destroy socialism in Asia and the whole world. The Korean people, led by the right revolutionary leader, Marshal Kim Il-sung, a true military strategic genius and iron will brilliant commander, fought a fierce anti-imperialist, anti-U.S. struggle against U.S. imperialism and the Allied forces of international reaction. It was a fierce, blast struggle against the Yemenis of the people. The Korean people fought a national liberation war against the anti-imperialist invaders, a war of justice for independence and freedom, and a war to safeguard their sovereignty. The Fatherland Liberation War of the Korean people proved to be the crucible of the Songam idea and the huge idea of self-reliance. We are here today to condemn the appalling barbarity of the U.S. imperialists during the Fatherland Liberation War. We denounce, we denounce their crimes of massacring civilians and the use of biological and chemical weapons. We hear a lot about children being killed in Palestine, but remember, 74 years ago, the Americans were killing innocent Korean children. 35,383 people were murdered by the US at Sinchenri, and 1,050 at Susanri. Just to give a few examples, the US imperialists tried to exterminate the Korean people by carrying out the war. They had long planned. History will curse forever the US imperialists as barbarians and savages and war criminals, as well as enemies of humanity and progress. He, the US, is the ringleader of war and aggression. He is the biggest human rights violator in the world. The US imperialists continue to occupy South Korea to this very day, ignoring the will of the Korean people and the voices of the world progressives. The US imperialists have committed crimes in South Korea as well, which are too numerous to mention. They are exploiting the South Korean people by taking huge sums of money and so-called upkeep expenses. The U.S. have introduced biological weapons into South Korea in order to commit genocide again against the Korean nation. This is a horrendous crime. The U.S. imperialists have also tried to stifle 
the DPRK using the human rights issue and use the UN against the DPRK. US troops continue to occupy the southern part of Korea to this day. Military exercises are staged by the US and South Korea, and not just by the US and South Korea, but also Japan, the former imperial power, Australia, UK, France, Thailand, and others. Only a few days ago, the US nuclear aircraft carrier, Theodore Roosevelt, called at Busan Park, port. This is a massive 104-ton vessel equipped with 90 war planes. Last year, Sleepy Joe Biden and the fascist puppet Yun formed the so-called Nuclear Consultative Group with the aim of waging nuclear war against People's Korea. Therefore, the Korean War was never over. It is ongoing today. And that's why we're here to make a point to protest against US hostile policies against the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, the true bastion of socialism and independence in the world. Long live People's Korea. Down with US imperialism. US out of Korea. Good afternoon, US Embassy. This is the picket called by the Korean French Association of the UK to protest against the continuing US hostile policies against the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. We have a message from KFA Germany which reads as follows. Dear comrades and friends of KFA UK and all other participants of this picket, on behalf of KFA Germany I extend solidarity and admiration to all participants in, of the picket outside the US Embassy in London. Your courage and dedication in standing against the aggression of the US Empire are truly commendable and serve as an inspiring example for all of us. As we gather during the month, this month of solidarity with the Korean people, we are reminded of the ongoing struggle faced by the EU, by the DPRK, against the unjust and relentless pressures from the imperialist forces. The US Empire's aggressive policies and actions towards the DPRK have not only threatened peace and stability in the Korean Peninsula, but have also infringed upon the solidarity and dignity of the Korean people. Your presence here today symbolizes a powerful act of resistance against these injustices. By raising your voices and taking a stand, you are not only supporting the DPRK, but upholding the principles of peace and justice and self-determination for all nations. Your commitment to exposing the truth and challenging the narratives perpetrated by imperialist power is a crucial part of our collective struggles. KFA Germany stands with you in solidarity. We are united by our shared belief in the right of the Korean people to determine their own destiny, free from external interference and coercion. Let us continue to work together to build a world where nations can peacefully coexist with mutual respect and understanding. In closing, I want to express the deepest respect to all of you who are gathered here today. Your efforts are a testament to the enduring spirit of solidarity and international friendship. Together, we will continue to oppose imperialism in all its forms and advocate a brighter future for the DPRK and all oppressed peoples around the world. In solidarity, Jeremy Berenger, official delegate of KFA Germany. And I would also point out that Sarah Russo, Organisation Secretary of KFA Germany, sent her greetings to the picket, wishing it uh, every success. And we also had a short message from KFA Brazil, wishing us success in the picket, and also from friends in Russia. And our Organisation Secretary, 
and Head of KFA West of England, Comrade Alan Bullen, who couldn't be here today due to working commitments, also sent his greetings to the picket and wished it every success. So this picket, although small, has received support from all around the world and other parts of the country. And yeah, I should mention also KFA Scotland sent their best wishes for the picket.